Hello, Dr. Jane Spokash, expert in health and longevity, and as a practicing chiropractor who focuses very heavily on the soft tissue components when pretty much everybody comes through the office, this particular study really kind of rings true with what I see in practice. It was a small, small study, just six patients with lumbar radiculitis. Now, I have patients come in all the time saying that like, you know, like my sciatica is killing me. Uh, and the reality is that sciatica is, by definition, is pain going down into the leg, typically below the knee, and it comes from the irritation, either direct or chemical, of the nerve root leaving the lumbar spine, or um, if sciatica would be lumbar spine. But most cases of pain into the leg are actually not sciatica. There are usually some variation of soft tissue component, SI joint, but in this case, these people had the low back pain, the imaging findings, as well as neurologic findings. So they're, um, they were unable to do the heel walk. So that means that the, um, the dermatome, the nerves are actually starting to be damaged. They had foot drop when they walked. So these are people who have, it, it's not, it might be lumbar radiculitis. They definitely have lumbar radiculitis. And, um, of these patients, they were given dry needling to the iliopsoas, which is the muscle that runs in the front of the hip, typically referred to as your hip flexors. So when somebody comes into our office, we're going to do soft tissue work to all those muscles in the area, as well as stretching, as well as adjusting, as well as a technique called flexion distraction, uh, which is can be very helpful for disc problems. Uh, but in this case, the average... Average treatments were 6.7 treatments with dry needling and um, nine and a half PT sessions. So very little impact. And these patients all did better with that. The average cost of care was about 1700 Compare that to people having disc surgery. Um, forget fusion, just discectomy, uh, foraminotomy, any type of minimally invasive procedure, it's clearly at least 10% or at most 10% of the cost. If we start talking about a fusion, it's probably closer to, you know, one to 2% of that cost. So these people had good outcomes when they addressed the soft tissue as well as PT treatment. So in our office, we'd be doing the soft tissue with either hands or Graston, as well as everything else that we do in the office. But it's just, again, it's a case review, but the outcomes were pretty stellar with minimal intervention and no surgery was done on these five patients out of six. It's not a bad outcome. Uh, again, I think the additional flexion distraction in our office can really tip the scale towards close to 100%. I'd like to think that we fix everybody, but the reality is we don't. But the, the bottom line is if you're going to see somebody, regardless of who it is, make sure that they are competent in soft tissue treatment. We're not talking about just stretching and exercises. We need to get into those tissues and loosen up what might be keeping them from functioning the way they're supposed to. So as always, I'll post a link to this particular study in the description. Make sure you like this video, share it with somebody who you think needs the information, and subscribe to the channel.